Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I've just delivered the Sphinx Stone to Adam's Way, and I've made my way west back a little bit to Port Carnelian, which is right here. So I'm just going to continue to make my way back to Fallen London. Just go to the Iron Republic, stop there for some more fuel, keep going north back to Fallen London, and then hopefully after that, finally realize my, my dream of going to the far north and fulfilling one of those trade contracts. And I suppose we can also take a stop at Vendor Bite and see if we can find that apparently amazing restaurant that the factor on the Moo Island was telling me about. So, let's go. I'm worried about terror, so I'm going to leave my lights on. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Jellyfish. Right, that's... Yeah, I remember the the jellyfish now. I was going to just cut straight across to the Iron Republic, but with that thing out there, I don't think so. I wonder how fast it is. It might be easy to outrun it, but I do not want to risk it. Alright, now let's see if we can cut up a little bit. I'd like to see if there's an island up here that I can... Uh, a new one that I can visit on the way. I'd like to find a new place. Something other than the Grand Geode? Nope, looks like it's just the Grand Geode. Is that thing chasing me? It is. Oh, thank god I can outrun it. Hmm? A tooth-cracking treasure. A chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. Your crew chuckle. But when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nevertheless, they all hush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the Z, Captain. It'll be luck for us. Hmm, throw away the small diamond? No, let's do the careful thing. Zaylers pray to stone when they want home, hearth, and healing. She's the kind god you'd want on your she's the kind of god you'd want on your side. Lost terror, nice. And now I know something of the three gods of the Z. Yes, I know that they like to put diamonds in ship's biscuits for some reason. Weirdos. <laughs> I think it's just going to do sea donuts there, isn't it? Oh, no, okay. Pick a direction, please. It doesn't quite see me. I think it would see me if I turn on my lights, so I'm going to leave them off. <laughs> now that thing. Oh, it's okay. Two hundred and ten hit points. You know, I might actually be able to take it. Maybe. Probably not, but it's possible. Of course, it's absolutely not worth it.
Um, I guess I'm going to be buying enough fuel to keep going north. So, I should probably just buy the shit ton, pretty much. I think probably up to 20. Yeah, that should be fine. See if we can sneak past it by sticking close to the shore. And by it, I mean both of them. Freaking rowboat of doom and that massive thing behind me. Okay, we're good. I don't think the people in the rowboat can catch me. I would say manpower can't beat engine power, but... It's very possible the things inside of the boat are not actually people. Let's listen for some more surface gossip. A vision of the surface. It's strange that it's not called a surface. I feel like it should be. In fact, I feel like they should have just gone into the, all the text for this game and just done like a, a complete search and replace. And replace every single S with a Z. Sail the Z in your ship. And kill the enemies with your bullets and bombs. And I'm gonna stop now. Hello. Unfortunately, my people are not hungry. Guess I'll get a fragment out of you. And of course, it reduced my terror by a bit. Should have some port reports. I've got 10 favor with the Admiralty. Nice. And... Oh right, I never got a port report for Atom's Way. I didn't have time to get one. I bet that would have been worth a lot of money. At least it better have been, because that was hard to get to. It's in very dangerous waters. Alright, what else? Some stories, nothing particularly interesting. Morning papers. 
Yep, there's the trade offers for the Muter Salt and the Zoop. Which is what I am just about to do. I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me see if we can hire some more officers. See if anybody wants to join. Haunted Doctor. Hmm, I already have a doctor, don't I? Gunnery, sur yeah, surgeon. Can't fit any more Zailers. Yeah, we're good to go. Uh, I should probably buy some supplies, though. Just a little bit. If I can find them. Here they are. Yeah, this should be fine. Oh yeah, so I looked up on the wiki, by the way, how to use these assistants. These, um, these strange Radis Faber assistants. And also the pneumatic rat sender. So I was thinking that these maybe were not actually consumables, and I was kind of wondering how they worked because they kind of seemed overpowered. It turns out they're not overpowered because they are actually consumables. So they repair 10 whole damage instantly. And they can only do that once, and then they disappear. So it's actually very expensive. You're paying 100 echo to repair 10 whole. Keeping in mind that you can repair your entire hole for 100 Echo here in London. So that is actually extremely expensive. So I am certainly not going to be getting any of these things anytime soon. And... What in the heck are these things? I just realized there's weapons here. Hold on, I thought, I thought only this dude sold weapons. Apparently not. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, what space do I have? Deck. Any of these deck? Forward? Oh, yep, there's one. It's 1500, my god. 1818. The main difference between this and other weapons seems to be that the crew damage is two. Whereas normally it's only one. Like this one's 1515 and then one crew damage. And this one's 18, 18, and 2 crew damage. This one's 18, 18, and 3. And it staggers. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm going to wait to get a new ship, though, before I go upgrading my weapons. I've got my eyes set on that Corvette. Let's take a look at that thing. Oh, look at it. It's a beautiful 3,200 hole. And it's got a forward slot. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Alright, so we're heading up to Venderbite first. Let's take a stop by the Hunter's Keep. Yep, sounds good. And then after that, we're going to keep going north and look for Zoop and Muter Salt. Want to get those trade contracts fulfilled? Deliver them the recent news. Let's talk with Lucy. Some memories, some supplies, lost tear. Reconnoiter the island. Port report. There we go. Hopefully we can sign, find some pirate ships around here to kill. Or a swarm of bats. Yep, 
Yeah, let's gather them up. One supply. Gained one terror, but that's fine. More than worth it for the 20 salt worth of stuff. And, ooh, pirate ship. It's going for the kill. Perfect timing. Gonna go right in behind it. Well, okay, maybe not perfect timing. Pretty good, though. Don't try to back up. You can't get out of my claws. I've got you. I'm a bird of prey. Two supplies, sweet. Okay, let's see if we can find that restaurant. Also, what the heck is this? Provide what you have promised. Oh, that's the guy that wants me to find his... His, his what? His lover or something? Yeah, sorry, I haven't found her yet. Oh, there it is! Visit a certain little restaurant. Fine cuisine in Vendor Bite. Now that would be something. Unlocked with a restaurant recommendation. A corkscrewed street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow light glows from the gilt-lettered window of a restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A gray mustache pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in, come in. <laughs> mustache coming, <laughs> poking out of the bandages. I'm just trying to picture this guy. I really want to see an artist's rendition of him. Oh, I think we're about to... I'm about to get my wish. A bandaged... Poisoner? A vendor bite seeks passage with a Z-captain sympathetic to intrepid cuisine. Well, that's, that's soup. That's not a person. I want to see him. Let's see. It's a cramped little place, but much better lit than most places in the tomb colonists. Uh, tomb colonies. The sense of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. Do you think if you order takeaway in the tomb colonies, they don't give you it in like a little styrofoam box, but they like give you the food wrapped in bandages? Let's see. Recruit him as a cook. Do I have a cook? I do not. I would love to. 300 Echo. That's awfully expensive. But he's probably a pretty damn good cook. The bandaged poisoner, or poisoner, or whatever that is, has a long wish to travel, but you'll need to outfit the galley to his exacting standards. Hmm. I want to, I really want to hire him, but I really want to save up for the boat as well. Or the ship, rather. 300 is quite a lot of Echo. I don't know. I mean, I could always come back and just hire him later, right? Hmm. Or I could sample today's special. The food here is exceptional. You need not fear poisoning or boredom. Definitely not boredom. This is usually more effective a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a dusty glass of wine. But will also reduce hunger. Ah, so I think the reason it says this is usually more, a more effective way of reducing terror is because you're not guaranteed to actually be successful. Only a 60% chance. Yeah, I want to hire this guy, but I'm going to do it later. I'm going to keep saving up for that, that ship. 
I really want that Corvette. So I'm just going to go. Port abort. Explore. Hmm. A raggedy fellow. He wants to join. Well, I'm afraid I don't have room. I could pay for his passage home. I'm sorry, 250 Echo. That's just too much, man. I can't, I'm sorry. A shrug. I... I know before I asked, but I hope yet. Well then, Captain. Take my... blessing. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try the accent. <laughs> You'll remember me another time, huh? When you have a berth, spare for a good sailor. A good sailor what knows his way. He's laying it on a bit thick with all the Z's, but perhaps next time, you assure him, perhaps. Okay, well, at least he's a pleasant fellow and didn't scream in my face or something or try to kill me. I can respect that. Okay, it's time to go north for real. Into the unexplored looking for Zoop and Muter Salt. Let's uh, go ahead and stick close to the shore for now. Whoa. Oh no! Oh, I missed. Did they hit me? They did. Bastards. actually got too many damn supplies. Well, maybe not too many. I guess I don't really need that much room in my hold. I think at most I need seven spaces. Yeah, I need uh, seven zoop or seven salt. So, it's actually fine. How much does that thing have again? <laughs> 400? It's a lifeberg. Let's go ahead and turn off my lights here. God, I'm so slow. Maybe I shouldn't be here. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna see me. But if it does, I can't exactly run away from it. Ugh. Ugh. So slow. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I just wasn't speeding up. Why was I not speeding up? It must have slowed me down on purpose at some point, but then I guess... I, I don't know. I was holding W, but it didn't speed up for some reason. What is this place? Don't think I visited here before. Wither. Wait, is this Wither? Yeah. I can't remember if I've been here before. A chilly city beside a waste of salt. I don't think I have been here before. Behind the great arch over the bay, the pale wastes stretch. White and silent as the face of the moon. From here, you might almost imagine they were snow. North of the city, the salt pools fizz with unlikely color. Let's get a port report. The citizens of Wither enjoy questions. So much so that they always answer a question with another question. This can make intelligence gathering frustrating. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually, you couple together enough implications and supposition to compose a report. Shore leave or explore? It's a low risk challenge. Hmm. Well, for now, let's just explore. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of gray stone and closed courtyards. The people are either exactly unfriendly, or are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. The wind speaks. 
You fall into a reverie as you wander the shore. There are words in the wind. A story of sorts. Of a gate in the north. Of a pale light that, begin, that began there. Of a drowned light that will end there. Of a high wilderness that other ships may sail. You lift your eyes. On the wall of assault works, someone has scrawled, Is there a sea more sunless? I don't think so. I don't think you can have a sea more sunless than a sunless sea. Unless you have some sort of, like, opposite sun that actually sucks light out of everything. Some sort of black hole. Hmm. 50 echo to go explore around. Probably not worth it. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Now, what is this house of the question? Northwest of the Wither Town, the house of the question stands alone. Here, the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the Deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god. It's the one place in Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer. For a price. Gaining the attention of a god is useful chiefly for lifting curses. <laughs> Thank God I don't have any curses at the moment, but I did last time when I shot that bat. The, uh, the white bat. A hundred echo to ask about the drowned man. Hmm. I can defy the gods. <laughs> Spit on the floor, curse the priests, overturn an altar. This will increase your iron and hearts by five each, up to 110, and set your terror to zero but you will never be able to remove any god's curse or benefit in certain other ways. Hell no! That is really good, though. Permanently increasing your iron and hearts by five each. And setting your terror to zero. That's really good. That's really good. But no, that's scary. I'm not going to do it. I don't know who the drowned man is, so I don't know if I want to ask about them. I'm saving up money, but, I mean, you kind of have to do stuff to make money. So... Uh, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. The end and the beginning. He is not a god. He came from the north, where it is too cold for gods. And to the north he will return. If you go north, nothing of you will remain. Well, that was useless. Ooh! Ooh! Muter salt. Before we take a look at that, what is this? The Hunter's Cage. A sign reads, Bones, please. The proprietor will sell you beast, bone, uh, beast meat for stories or buy your ivory. Hold on, what is this? Oh, you don't purchase this stuff with money. So wait a minute, is that... I'm not entirely sure what this means. I think that means three tails of terror and you get two supplies. Or I can sell three tails... Wait, what? I don't understand. I suppose it doesn't matter, because I don't think I have that many tails of terror. Um, let me see. I have exactly three. And what is this? So meter salt costs Z stories. And how many of those do I have? Four. Wait, I have four Z stories, but I can't buy it. Does that mean it costs five Z stories to get four muter salt? I have no idea, but the effect is the same. I can't buy it. So, I'm just gonna have to continue on my way. Unless... Well, I guess I could sell stuff for Z-Stories. 
but only fuel, and I can't afford that. And this gives me Tales of Terror, which is not what I need. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything here. Time to go. My terror is pretty low, so I'm going to turn off my lights for a bit. Hold on. Hold hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oof. We're fine. It was loud, but we're perfectly fine. I'm curious. If I go into, like, the icebergs, is there maybe something hidden back here? Oh, no, I've reached the end of the world, haven't I? It's not scrolling anymore. What happens if I keep going? Would I hit an invisible wall, or... I don't know. scared about that thing, so I'm going to thread the needle here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Codex is somewhere to the southwest? Hmm. I think I'll just keep going along the shore. Unless... Is this it right here? I think it's just right there. Yeah, I might as well visit it. Report. Aside from that, there's really nothing to do. Ooh, that is an expensive fuel. Not worth it. Teneb is to the east. I have not been to Teneb before. This doesn't look like Teneb, though. This looks like, um, Frostbound. Wait, is Teneb an actual separate place that I can dog at? I thought I went around this place before and the only place to dock was down below me to the south. Yeah, there's nowhere to dock here. Hmm. I'm also surprised this place is considered a low-light area. Judging by the fact that my terror is still increasing even with my lights on. Seems pretty well lit. Ah, 
Ah, you need a mirrors of more than 50 to even attempt to go inside, of which I actually have. Unfortunately, my terror is too high. Hmm. Just get a port report for now. Engage an officer, mechanic. Would that be a... Chief Engineer? I think it would be. Yeah, it would have to be. 20 Echo, I think that's really worth it. Afternoon. Ready to offer my services. I'm an engineer. Finest you'll ever hire. Treat engines like my own children, not that I have children. Oh, I've already read this. Um, yeah. Come aboard. You've lost 50 Echo. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I thought I said it cost 20. I mean, I still want him either way, but didn't it say 20 Echo? I could have sworn it said 20. Oh well. Veils plus 8, fuel efficiency plus 5%. Have some tea with the squatters. Yep, lost terror. Gain supplies, gain a little bit of fuel. Thank you. No shops. Let's keep going. Station 3, somewhere to the southeast. They uh, certainly don't have any shops on Station 3, though, so just going to skip that. Still looking for the Zoop and the Muter Salt. Hmm. This looks lava-y. I believe this is Mount Palmerston. This place sounds demonic. Is this the place that has like the two separate groups of people? The people like the demon creatures living in the crater? And then the people in the port? Hello. 300 hit points, no thanks. Get a port report. Yeah, this is that place. They don't do us any harm, they stay up there and we stay down here. If hell's finding itself, that's good for us all, isn't it? Now, I don't suppose you have the Zoop! They have the Zoop! Awesome! And, oh, yeah. It looks like any place that maybe has kind of uh, craters or any place that's particularly... Lavacious seems to have very cheap fuel. And what is this? Ambiguous Elith. A thinking creature made this, or the sea made this, or both. Alright, well, sweet. I think my mission is going to be a success. Let's go up to the crater. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but the road to the Brimstone Convention is paved with cinders. Do they admit visitors to the Brimstone Convention? Probably not. But you never know. They might sell tickets. That sounds very disturbing. Let's just explore for now. Oh no, this is what fucked me before, the privateer encampment. I shouldn't have explored. Okay. What I did before is I attempted to attack. That lost me five Zailers. And there's a 50% chance. 
And, uh, oh god, but the chance... <laughs> the chance of creeping close and eavesdropping is even less. Wait, can I just stop? Like, can I just not do this encounter at all? There's no button to do it, but can I just close out? Oh. Wait, what? Why is there no choice to just leave? I don't understand. The only thing you can do is either attack or creep close and eavesdrop. Why isn't there a run the fuck away button? <sighs> okay, well, once again, attacking provides me with the best chance. However, what about the negative consequences? I know the negative consequences of failing to attack is I lose five Zailers. But what's the negative consequences of eavesdropping? I'm assuming they would just find out that I'm there and kill me anyway, right? So I'd probably also lose five Zailers? Well, simply because I already know what the other option does, and I feel like Joshua York would not be the kind to just go in and attack. He's the kind that would try to stay in the shadows and gather intelligence. So I'm going to creep close and eavesdrop. And I'm probably about to lose five Zailers. Pray to the gods of the Z that I don't. Uh, I failed. But we didn't lose any Zailers. Okay. Thank God. A hive of murderous bees. The... The uh, Republicans conspire gleefully in a tangled and multifarious pigeon. French, English, polythremic, the languages of hell. You can make out words here and there. Liver, thunder, expunge, consume. But it's hard to resolve them into sense. The longer you listen, the less sense it makes, until you begin to fear what effect their infernal whispering is having. When your bow son turns to whisper to you, and you hear only the bleeding of a goat, you realize it's time to retreat. Okay, so it turns out failing this is much more pleasant than failing to attack. Thank God. I just gained a little bit of terror and that's it. Ooh, all right. Good to know. And, oh, I lost the ability to go up to the crater again. Okay, that sucks. All right, well, the trader back, back in London wanted seven zoop was going to pay me 700 echo for it. Um, I believe I can only do one trade at the, at one time. Like, I believe I can only choose to fulfill one trade contract or the other, not both. So, I need either the Zoop or the Muter Salt. I prefer the Muter Salt because he was actually going to pay me 1,000 echo for 7 Muter Salt, whereas he's only going to pay me 700 echo for 7 Zoop. But, the Zoop is right here and the Muter Salt is... Who knows, so... Well, you know what? I can always come back. Yeah. And what's my profit margin gonna be on the Zoop? I'm just looking at that. What is... I wish I had a calculator here. I'm not very good with mental math, but what's 7 times 70? I don't know, but I believe my profit margin is gonna be 30 on each Zoop. So 7 times 30 would be my profit, which is 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, it's like, it's a bit above 200, I think. It's, it's actually not that much of a profit. So I'm actually not going to buy this. Yeah, because I can just get cheap fuel, fuel and just keep going and look for either the muter salt or maybe a better deal on Zoop. Because the profit margin on, on the Zoop is just not great. It's enough to more than cover my expenses of getting up here, but nonetheless, I want a better one. Better offer. So let's just get some fuel. Actually, I don't know if it is enough to even cover my expenses of getting up here. I've already spent like 150 Echo just in fuel alone. Hmm. All right, let's go. Let's 
go ahead and avoid this nasty boat. Oh, it's on me. Kinda. Ragged crew. That's new. Oh, wait a minute. There's no port? Oh. But... It's so big on the map, I thought anything of that size had a place to... To land. I guess not. Avid Horizon. Look at that. What is that? These formations. Oh, it looks like a cloaked figure. From this angle, in this picture. This is the end. Uh, I hope not. Two vast winged shapes guard a gate of... A gate of something like resin. Smooth but uneven. It is a deep gaunt. The color that remains when all, their co all other colors have been eaten. Ice crusts over the cracks between its valves. Approach, and your breath freezes. Falls, tinkling in shards from the air. It would be utterly foolish to touch the thing. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The dock lies empty. like some sort of a multi-dimensional gate to the ice realm. There's nobody here? Any shops? No shops. I can try to open the high gate if I complete a certain matter in London to achieve this. Hmm. Unlocked with 40 times materials for the passage. You can do some very strange stuff in this game. Wouldn't that freeze the entire Undersea if you open this? It's a scary thought. Look into the stars. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that. Gather intelligence. Yeah, let's get a port report. Nothing moves. This stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And what then? Heard a story. Costs 77 fragments. 
The ice by the gate's edge, there was a whisper about a hunting quest and a final revenge. Hmm? Behind the ice. Yes. Yes, this is what the rumors meant. A hunter frozen in the ice. Hands contorted to claws. Mouth agape. With her left hand, she had plucked her own eye from the socket. It lies very close to the surface of the ice. If the stories are true, there's a dark virtue in that eye. Take it then, but perhaps you should put it in a jar. Oh wait, that was actually true? I thought that was just a, a rumor, but no, it means the rumor that you heard was actually true. There was a hunter frozen in the ice. And now I have a hunter's eye. The hell am I going to do with it? Eat the flesh of the deep lurkers and your eyes will change. Huh? That's weird. I don't know if I want to look into the stars. The fact that it says unlocked with a terror no more than 75 makes me think that if I do it, there's a potential that my terror is going to go way up. Otherwise, why would they cap the terror like that? No, I'm not going to do it. That's too scary. Not unless my terror was very low, but it's not. It's 35. Nope. The Chapel of Lights. To the east. I love how calm it is up here, uh, north. Compared to the south, where there's just giant moths and massive boats everywhere, this is relatively calm. Basically just seen, what, one boat? Maybe two boats, and then... One... Lifeberg, or whatever it was called? Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many, many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower. Cracked iron laughter. Beware. The aisle is full of voices. Let's get a port report. What occurs here between the darkness and the light? A smiling priest and a red cassock attends the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you note the names of a ship or two. Give a nightmare to the well. That doesn't sound pleasant. Eat of the chapel's bounty. A smiling priest unlocks the door of the storehouse for you. Here, he says, eat, but take nothing away with you. Rich and red. They have shark steaks plucked from the sea. Thin slices of cavern tuna, translucent and delicate as paper. Little crimson flakes flavored with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds. Tomatoes, impossibly ripe and sweet, so far from the surface. Gorge yourself. Leave with the juices dripping from your chin. How do they get such bounties? It seems like it'd be very expensive. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, ch no shops. That's it. Oh my god. I've actually gone really freaking far. I'm almost all the way to the east. Let's keep going. Let's find what's at the corner of the world. 
The Underworld. Aram. Seems Bernie over here. Oh, this place is lovely. Are those petals? Look at that. Hey, wait a minute. Is this the place I'm supposed to go for my irrepressible cannoneer? Or was it? Uh, journal? Yes? No, maybe. Um... Ah, no, it's a, a, a stivel. Still, though, this place is gorgeous. Unless the locals hate me, there should be a lot of shops here. This place is just huge. It's gotta be places to trade. Hopefully some zoop and muter salt. None have ever spoken truthfully of this place. Aram, the pillared city. She will rise from the Z and the ice like dawn. She will be garlanded with red and decked with gold. The Seven Serpent will watch you longingly from its high pedestal. You will arrive as a stranger, but when you leave, some part of you will always remain. Oh, if only I had a sack of dark drop coffee beans, I could actually do this. Rest, traveler. Our waters are warm, our cushions are petal soft. Lay your head here. You will be healed. Or better yet, you will be renewed. That sounds lovely, but I can't do it. Where was the nearest place that had had these? Ah, it's pretty far away. Well, let's compile a report. Conundrum. When you will sit down to write the report, you will recall that it was written already. Who wrote it? The report records that it was already written when it was found. Who found it? The report describes another report, which will indicate the name of the finder. Where is the other report? There's a footnote which describes when you will record its location. When will that be? When all is well, and all manner of things, and, and all manner of thing is well. D what? There's something very strange about this place. Oh yeah, there's plenty of trade. My god. Looks like they trade in other things, though. It looks like for one... Unless I'm misreading this, I think one secret will buy you nine lamentable relics, or the other way around. Nine secrets will buy you one lamentable relic. They can't be right, though, right? There's no way. Nine secrets for one lamentable relic? That would be insane. It's gotta be the other way around. Hmm. So there's nothing else I can do here, huh? No? All right, let's see. I can actually buy this for fragments. Hmm. You know, let me just make sure this is not actually going to cost nine secrets. So how many do I have? Let's let's just spend some. Yeah, so at the moment I have nine. Okay, so now I only have eight. Which means... Okay, so that's just saying that that's how many I have, that's not how many I'm going to get. Because now it's gone down to eight. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's just going to cost one secret. I have eight, and it's going to give me one relic. Gotcha. Hmm. For a secret, you can actually get three of these boxes. Ooh. 
I think she would very much like that. It's Station 3. Very much like it. A lot of these things, I just have no idea what they're about. Like, Judgment's Eggs? Or Egg? Is this a soul? It's pale and bright? Souls like this, they say, are the spores of strange gods. A spore of a god? What is this stuff? A curio? That's some very expensive fuel and supplies. You can trade my memory of distant shores for a tales of terror. Although the exchange rate is not one to one. Or, oh wait, no, it's actually better. One distant shore for two tales of terror. Hmm. Oh, you can even just straight up buy a secret. And the secret is apparently worth a thousand echo. Damn. You could do a lot here, but I don't really particularly want to do any of this. Hmm. I think I probably just want the sooth and copper long boxes. Just buy a bunch of them and take them there. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. Let's advance the Station 3 storyline and see what happens. Wait. Wait, they just give me one? Oh, that's how many I have and that's... Oh, what the fuck? This is so... Ugh. Okay, so it costs three secrets to buy a long box. That I don't think is worth it. This is what it's going to cost you. This number here is how many you have. This times is how many it's going to cost you out of what you have. And it looks like you're always going to get one. Okay. And how does the sale work? This is how many you have. You're going to get two for selling one of this. Okay. Now I understand. And now I don't want to buy anymore. It's alright. I, I think one box will probably get the storyline started. And that reminds me, I should probably spend some more of my secrets. Because I always want to keep a couple secrets just to play around with, but... I don't want to just hoard them for no reason. Do I want to increase my hearts? I actually want to increase my mirrors. And perhaps my veils. Let's do mirrors. Okay, so I could restock on fuel at Mount Palmerston. So let's go a little bit south and then just head straight west. Holy crap, I just realized this episode is over an hour long. Um, okay, I'm going to end it at the next port that I find. Festival. <gasps> That's the place that the irrepressible cannoneer wants me to go to. Ooh. There's something there. What 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 am I seeing? Oh, I thought it was maybe the light of a ship or something. Cobb's Way Bay, no way! I love Cobb Cobb's Way Bay. 
Hmm? The lookout shouts. Far above, the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? Wait, the false stars in the cavern roof. <laughs> I keep learning more about the, just like the basics of the environment that I'm in. It took me a while to realize that the Sunless Sea is actually set underground. And I just now realize that there's a cavern roof. I'm underground and you can actually see the cavern roof. And there's false stars in the cavern roof. What are the stars? Perhaps some sort of biological life that's maybe bioluminescent or something, giving off light? Hmm. Anyway, okay, what do I do? Forbid them to look, or... Record the change and assign a name. 50% chance. Hmm. No. Especially not this far away from safety. I don't think it's worth it. Because I don't know what's going to happen. I might lose Zaylers. My people might freak out. No. Forbid them to look. You can't really stop them. But you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it. But it's safer. First officer. Take that man's name. But they quieten soon enough. Alright, we're good. This is the place that the Irrepressible Cannoneer wants me to go to? I thought it'd be somewhere more epic. This just looks like a pleasant little cottage. Sun! Wait, sun? I guess this place is rather bright, isn't it? Is there a hole in the canyon... Uh, the, <laughs> the canyon. A hole in the cavern roof? Sun! A great beam of sunlight bathes the island. Squint into the dazzle. Far above, there's a hole in the roof. In that light, you see beaches of white gold sand. Trees heavy with bright fruit. The reds and blues and greens of the surface. Well, I was about to end the episode, but I really want to see what the heck is up with this prototype, so let's do it. Let's see, what's it going to cost? Five crew. Wait, do you mean it's going to cost me five crew? Five supplies? Uh. Uh, let's see. Seek the Iron and Misery ca uh, Company prototype component. The Cannoneer points. There. The black rocks on the south side of the island. Where nothing grows. We'll need labor and supplies to dig it out. This will consume the supplies, but not the crew. Oh, okay. Right, so it's something you can't do unless you have enough labor, but it doesn't actually consume the labor. Gotcha. Um, can I actually buy supplies? I can't. It's going to consume the supplies. Five. That's going to leave me with three supplies. Uh. Oh, and look, I can gather supplies. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Because right above me is this place, and I can buy supplies there. Can't I? I think I could. Pretty sure. Oh, no. Go back. Establish a settlement. This will open on Thursday, the 16th of February. Wait, what? Is that talking about game time or real time? Because I think... Isn't, isn't today the 16th of February? But it's not a Thursday. It's a Monday. Huh. Anyway. The sun is what makes this place a paradise. And it's what makes it deadly. You'll have to do something about that. Unlocked with a two times kingdom, a bridgehead. Can I, like, live out my days here or something? As an actual end game? That would be interesting. Beachcombing. Port report. Visit your colony. <laughs> I don't have a colony. Alright, let's gather supplies first and see what we get. 
Oh, shit. I was gonna say I lost a crew, goddamn, but oh my god, I gained 11 supplies. Like, look, I don't like to put a m kind of monetary value on a person's life. But one crew is totally worth 11 supplies. That's 220 worth of supplies. Rare default. You fill your stores with breadfruit, sugarcane, coconut, soft-shelled crabs, and plump birds too stupid to know a hungry sailor from a tree. But on the way back to the ship, one of your crew topples over a groan. Uh, over with a groan. She's smiling blissfully. Go on, Captain, she says. I've missed the sun. Her eyes close. Sunlight is perilous for those who've lived in the Neath too long. Wait, she died from the sunlight? What, are the people in the Neath, like, anti-photosynthetic? Yeah, that was totally worth it. Okay, now I'm not worried about the supplies. And 9 out of 10 sailors is perfectly fine. Let's do it. Alright, what's gonna happen? I don't even want to scroll down because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Aestival's Secret. Days of backbreaking labor unearth a cache of old bones, curios, and a meteorite. A broken armature of steel and copper sheaths its sides. The sailors fall back before it as the glyphs on the side crawl with fire. This is it! The cannoneer cries. This must be what broke the roof! It's very frightening. A seal of the red science. I never thought I'd see such a thing. But it's sleeping. We'll need a judgment's egg and my friends in the Iron Republic. We might be able to find an egg in Aram. The crew shrinks, shrink back a little. Oh, such larks. Such larks. Okay, well, the, the journey continues. The longer and longer this quest goes on, the more and more I think it, the reward is going to be absolutely incredible. Take the seal and the Judgment's Egg to the Iron Republic south of London. Okay, that is extremely far away. Gain some memories, gain a secret, gain a couple relics, Atlantis artifact. Now have the Seal of the Red Science. A little bit of terror. But um, yeah, I think this is going to lead to pretty great things. Okay, so I need to go back to Aram. And I was going to get supplies, but now I don't need them. But I do need to get the Judgment's Egg. Let's get a report report. A burning after image. Your eyes water. The pages blur. The report is one of joy-filled joy complaint. Estival has a beauty too bright to be appreciated. But perhaps the Admiralty can find something of use. Let's visit my colony, whatever that means. Yeah, there isn't one. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, but this has certainly been an event-filled episode. So, let's see. I went... Oh my god, look what I did. Look at what I did. So, I started from here. I, I basically started in the diagonal opposite of where I'm at now. I started down here, went to the Iron Republic, all the way up to London, and then went north, went all the way east, and then a little bit south. That is some amazing progress. Yeah, so there we go. Very excited to see where this quest leads. So, in the next episode, I'm going to go back to Aram, get the Judgment's Egg, and then after that, I'm not entirely sure. I could go back to Mount Palmerston and get the, what was it, the Zoop, I believe is what was there. Although it wasn't exactly at a great price. But I could go over there for the Zoop, or I could just kind of maybe head to a somewhat unexplored region and look for a better price on Zoop, or perhaps the Muter Salt. But if I go where I've already been, it's certainly much safer. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.